Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed on April 25, 2015, 2.55 a.m. Birmingham topic. Missiles pointed up all around the Middle East. Russia through the Russian bloc countries and then Europe and the European countries and then in the Middle East, most of the Middle Eastern countries all have weapons, not necessarily um, nuclear, but they have weapons. And also there's a Star Wars weapon up there, probably more than one. And one was named Thor many years ago. And, and what it was would be a circular cylinder like you see on a gun barrel, a six-shooter. But this circular wouldn't be a six-shooter. It'd be anywhere between a 12 and a 30-shooter, okay? And each slot would have a pin in it. This pin may be a foot, foot and a half in diameter, and it may be 40 feet long and they're just in the shape of a nail they're made of tungsten steel and they'll slide through the atmosphere at amazing two miles per second and whatever it hits it destroys and it would destroy up to half or more of a city block without a warhead being on it so this thing is setting in a particular position somewhere over Jerusalem. There's thousands upon thousands of, of missiles pointed above Jerusalem. There are also thousands of missiles with warheads pointing in the sky above Jerusalem. Why is that? Take Jerusalem, hypothetically, stand on the Temple Mount and look at 12 o'clock. That is straight ahead. Right behind you, just about 800 feet, is the old city of David. Now, to the right of that 12 o'clock, to your right, at 3 o'clock, is the Mount of Olives. Why is, why are all these missiles, why are all these ground lasers, high powered, pointing at a certain place, and why are all the lasers that are mounted on systems in space all pointed in a particular spot? This is going to blow your mind. It did mine. <laughs> when the Lord returns, where does he return to? He will come straight out of the sky and his feet will touch the Mount of Olives and that will split the city of Jerusalem and he will walk down that valley and destroy everything in its path. And these are all the people that have gone against the Jews that are trying to kill them. But the Lord walks through these hundreds of millions in battle. His clothing, his robe is dipped in blood as he walks. These missiles by the tens of thousands are pointed at a certain height above the Mount of Olives. Their intent? I know you think I'm crazy here. Their intent? Shoot down or destroy the one that is coming for his church, 
for the Jews. Really. They really believe that they'll take out the Lord because in the end of the tribulation, he will say, every eye will see me. And then after the battle, every tongue will confess. Every knee shall bow that he is Lord. But yet, Satan still thinks today that he can defeat Jesus. That's This is his last attempt as he comes out of the sky. I don't care if you shoot off a hundred million Hiroshima or a billion Hiroshima bombs and hits Jesus dead on, it won't ruffle the garment he is wearing. He's going to have a sword come out of his mouth and he's coming down mad. But yet, they are prepared to try to kill him as he comes down. Guys, the story sounds way too crazy for it not to be true. Do some research on it. Jody Wolf Exposed.